Deep learning is changing the way geophysicists analyze seismic data. In the past, extracting horizon and detecting faults in seismic imagery required two separate methods, and each presents its own unique challenges. But what if there was a way to simultaneously interpret both horizons and faults using one unified approach? That's exactly what the authors of a recent research paper propose. A volume-to-volume -volume neural network that estimates a relative geological time RGT from seismic and uses that RGT to interpret both horizons and fault. And the results are interesting. I am Ruslan, CTO of a cutting-edge software company that is pushing the boundaries of what is possible with AI in geoscience. We've developed an amazing collection of AI tools designed to streamline your workflow and give you a fresh perspective on your data. Click on the link in the description to learn more. Relative geological time is a measurement used in geology to determine the timing and sequence of geological events. It involves comparing the order of geological layers and structures to determine which came first second, and so on. They proposed a deep neural network based on unit architecture, which uses multi-scale residual learning and attention mechanism to recognize structural patterns and estimate RGT volumes from 3D seismic images. Choosing the unit architecture for this neural network is not surprising as it has proven to be a popular choice in image-related tasks. The RGT estimation task requires a large amount of labeled data, but fully labeling all geological structures within a seismic survey is difficult. The authors trained a neural network using thousands of 3D synthetic seismic volumes with realistic and various structures and introduced a new loss function based on structure similarity to better optimize the network. The author selected three seismic cubes from the real dataset to predict the corresponding RGT volumes using their trained neural network. And the predicted RGT volumes preserved sharp structural features followed lateral reflection discontinuities and consistently extracted horizon surfaces that closely followed the seismic structures, indicating that the method works well on this field dataset, even with different structures, patterns and wavelength frequencies than the training seismic images. The second case study involves a highly noisy and complex seismic data with closely spaced faults. The deep neural network outperforms the slope-based method in accuracy, tracking the seismic horizon, dislocating across faults, and detecting most of the faults, even in the case of complex intersection. In my opinion, use of deep learning for seismic interpretation has tremendous potential to revolutionize the field. The ability to interpret both horizons and faults simultaneously is a significant achievement. While there are certainly challenges associated with obtaining labeled data for training, the use of synthetic data is a smart choice. Looking forward, I hope to see more research on this topic that explores even more complex geologies and shows the full RGT volume. Full RGT is important because we are not interested in interpreting data within 128 pixels. We need RGT volume for the whole survey. And I'm eager to see what future papers will uncover. And if you are interested in exploring the history and current challenges of analytical and machine learning methods for horizon tracking, be sure to check out my other video. I dive deep into the various approaches that have been used in the past and highlight the limitations and advantages of each method.